Hi everyone, it's Holly here from hollygrace.ca and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Sweet Pickens Milk Paint to make over an entryway table. Let's get to it. So this is the piece that I'm going to be painting today. I scored this entryway table off of a buy and sell site about two years ago. It only cost me $20, but it's been just sitting in my home in desperate need of a little facelift. So let's give it one today. For this project, I will be using two paint brushes, a stirring whisk, a sanding block, extra bond from Sweet Pickens Milk Paint. I chose their milk paint in the shade Sweetie Jane and I'm going to be using their oil wax in the shade black. Before painting I removed all the drawers from my piece and as well all the drawer pulls. We are going to begin our project by mixing up our milk paint. So I have my milk paint here, it comes in this brown bag. This is from Sweet Pickens in the shade Sweetie Jane. It's important to note that this is a true milk paint because it comes in powder form. If you're using a milk paint and it's not powder form, that, that means that it's not a true milk paint. We're going to open our bag here and you will see the powder inside. It's important to note that you only want to mix whatever paint you're going to use at that specific time for this project. You don't want to mix up too much paint because it doesn't last long once it's mixed. You can't store it in any way. So what I have here is I just have a glass jar and it's filled with one and a half cups of warm tap water. We are going to take our milk paint and we are going to dump in equal parts into the water. So I'm just going to measure it out here in my measuring cup first, make sure that I have one and a half cups. So again, it's equal parts water to equal parts powder. We are going to dump the powder into our water and then we are going to take our whisk and we are going to stir it vigorously for about two to two and a half minutes. You want to make sure that the powder is thoroughly mixed into the water. You don't want any lumps or clumps in our paint. If you find that the paint is too runny, just add little bits of powder here and there and keep stirring until it thickens up to where you want it. You don't want it to be too thick, but you also don't want it to be too runny either. Now that my paint is at a consistency that I like, I am going to add in just a little bit of extra bond from Sweet Pickens. The extra bond will improve the adhesion to my piece because it is a very non-porous surface and it does have a kind of a sheen finish to it. Now that I'm ready to paint, I'm going to start with my drawers first. When using milk paint, you should always try to brush in the same direction. So rather going back and forth over top of your strokes, keep the brush strokes going in the same direction. If you find that your paint is a little too thick, you can always add water as you go along to loosen it up and make sure that while you're painting, you give the paint a good stir every once in a while to prevent any clumps from forming. I continue painting my piece, working my way around the cabinet, working in sections. So. It is a little bit difficult to try to keep your brush, stroke, brush strokes going exactly the same way. I found myself slipping because I'm so used to painting with other styles of paint where I can just brush haphazardly back and forth. So it's not the end of the world if you brush back and forth, but I noticed that in the spots where I kept my brush strokes consistent, I did get a better coat and a better coverage. So this is my first coat done. Don't worry too much about making sure your brush strokes are full. So you'll see here I have some 
lighter brush strokes in certain areas, that's not that big of a deal because remember, we are going for that rustic, chippy look here. So this just adds to the appeal. There are a few areas as well where I had some drips and bumps, but it's not that big of a deal because I'm going to be sanding those off later. After my first coat had dried, I did have some areas where the paint had chipped and flaked, but I'm not worried about this because this is the exact look that I'm going for and this is why I'm using milk paint because I want that old farmhouse chippy look to this piece. I am going to continue on with just a second light coat just over top of some areas where the paint was just a little too thin for my liking. Like this door here is just a little too thin and spread out for my liking so I'm just going to do a quick little second coat over top. Now that I have my second coat on, I'm going to give this paint a good solid two to three hours to dry and then I will come back and apply the black wax. After my second coat had dried, there were some areas where there were large portions of chipping and flaking, but I'm really happy with that and how that turned out because I am going for that farmhouse chippy look. So this natural chippy occurring process is more than helpful because it saves me a lot of sanding. Before I can apply the oil wax though, I do need to just do a light sanding over all the areas because we don't want pieces flaking off while we're applying the wax. So you just sand, grab the sanding blocks and sand all the edges and all the chippy areas will come up. If you do it lightly, you won't lose too much paint, more than you already have. And then this just gets you prepared to apply the oil wax. The oil wax from Sweet Pickens is all natural, non-toxic, and it's water resistant. Before using the wax, you want to make sure that you shake it really well. You want to shake up all the color and make sure that none is sitting at the bottom. You also want to pour the wax into a separate container to avoid contamination. To brush on my wax, I'm using a 2 inch chip brush. To apply the wax, I brush it over the entire surfaces of my piece. You want to make sure that you get into all the nook and crannies. And then we want to leave the wax sitting on our piece for about 10 to 20 minutes. After that time is up, we can wipe the wax off. Now I use two lint-free cloths, one to get the bulk of the wax off and then a cleaner one that I then go on with after to get any residual wax. So just start with your lint-free cloth wiping it away and then once you get the bulk of it off then bring in your cleaner rag to do any fine tuning. It's a little daunting to see your entire piece covered with all the black wax. Think you've cover covered up that beautiful color that you just painted but as you grab your rag and you wipe away the wax you can really see just how beautiful the wax makes these pieces in such a natural and rustic way that you just can't achieve with other types of waxes and finishes. Once my wax had dried, I decided to add my new to me but old drawer pulls that I repurposed off an old piece of cabinetry. These antique brass drawer pulls are going to complement this piece perfectly. With my piece completed, I staged it in my home and I am more than happy with how this DIY project turned out thanks to Sweet Pickens Milk Paint. I hope that this inspires you to give milk paint a try, and if you've already used milk paint and love it, I hope that this inspires you to open another package again soon. Check out Sweet Pickens Milk Paint for all of their products, and you can see their gorgeous line of colors. I am a fan of Sweetie Jane, but I will be trying more colors in the future. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on another video. Bye.